We are continuing our Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise segment today, just chatting about the wonderful food. You haven't food stopped. My goodness, the whole commercial. <laughs> Joining us now I is like to eat. Chef Matthew Byrne. <laughs> Good morning, Matthew. Thank morning. you for putting up with us. Well, Thank you for being here. Matthew Byrne from Kitchen here. Right. I want to get as much out of him as I, know, I can in a little bit I mean, of time I, we I have. I haven't been able to get a word in edgewise, but anyway, that's besides the point. We're and making a the, nice, we're going vegetarian today. What are we making exactly? So we're making a vegetarian roulade. So we take eggplant and we're going to stuff that with quinoa, roasted peppers, asparagus. There's a little low fat ricotta cheese in here. You don't have to use ricotta if you wanted to keep it vegan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so basically, and we're serving that with the tomato saffron ragu. So what I have over here is onions and celery and garlic and some crushed red peppers that I've sauteed in a little bit of olive That's oil. That's what smells so good. Huh? Yeah, it's wow. really nice. Wait, does it smell um, good? Then we add started. some 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 uh, CC beans, chickpeas with some uh, dill <laughs> and some um, parsley. And then we add a little bit of San Marzano tomatoes, which are obviously the best canned tomato product you can get. The trick to the ragu is the saffron. So we have some saffron threads here, which is already in there, which oh. is really nice. So this this is just a really nice. What does saffron do to a dish? I, what, it gives it. Uh, it's such a unique flavor. I mean, it's traditionally used in bouillabaisse. We use it in zarzuela at the restaurant as well as this dish. Um, it's saffron threads. It gives it sort of a sweet floral. Uh, so it's something sort of you don't want to leave out, even though it only calls for usually a pinch or so of really? saffron. It's, it's pretty expensive, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. This yeah. amount of saffron here will last the restaurant two weeks. Wow. And if we sold it, we could retire, yeah. basically. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that expensive. But no. but also, is this a uh, is this difficult to do? Make not this, at all. This is, we, we, we take red quinoa, we boil it, we saute the vegetables. We used asparagus, uh, roasted peppers, caramelized onions. We used a little bit of corn and some cherry tomatoes. But again, if you don't like any Yummy. of those things, or if you mm -hmm. like kale, or if you like something else, Use feel free to put instead. it in. All right, so we idea. take, the, we, we basically take a whole eggplant, like up front here. Okay. We slice it lengthwise. We rub it with a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Do you let it sit with salt or anything for a not while? Not too much. No. Some people, some people do that. They out. think it gets some of the bitterness out of it. I tend to not do that. Okay. I think it actually makes the eggplant a little mushy and All makes right. it harder to grow. We've got 30 seconds. Base. Don't let her interfere. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. And then we just take a little bit of your filling here. <laughs> you can put it in here. You're mm -hmm. treating this almost like a, like a ravioli, I guess, or a roulade. Mm -hmm. And we just roll that up like this. Look at Ooh, that. Yum. Simple. Back, pass, uh, put it in your baking dish, top it with your ragu, and you can bake it in the oven, or it's ready to go just like that if, if you want to wow, eat it room temperature. Beautiful. This is yeah. a great side going in for Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. for the fall oh, it's holidays. Delicious. It's a great, or it's a great little lunch on its own or a starter at dinner. It's, 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 it's really wonderful. Wonderful. Matthew, and like to finish it. it off? Our apple blueberry crisp, we take tart apples, we toss them with, with uh, mm. fresh blueberries, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, not too much sugar. That's what we were talking about. We really want to taste the apple. We, want, we don't want it to get over, overly sweet. And we make a crust of just some uh, good, good quality flour sugar and uh, a little bit of egg and we bake it it's, it's the aroma is really quite nice oh there's right. only one way to shut me up well really uh -huh. rocks you're ready to go aren't you <laughs> why not hey that's really great thank i want to try so the much. crisp too thanks okay. for coming in with We're, such an unusual my but pleasure pretty easy and i think it's really simple stuff and the nice thing this is all can be made ahead if you're running low on time make this a de couple days before and then Cheers. you know roll it up that day all mm. right matthew thank you so my much my pleasure thanks so, so much kitchen west palm beach mm. book sounds it good. <laughs> sounds good we'll see you in a couple weeks absolutely perfect thanks guys